<laughs> well, guess what? We really need some geeky and nerdy stuff out there just to make things a bit more fun. But first and foremost, I'd love to ask you about your personal story. You know, what took your heart? Did you have any breakthroughs? Why did you decide to be a part of this decentralized movement and be one of these Bitcoin believers? Yeah, so I would say that my kind of rabbit hole story, if you will, um, dates back to being a campaign manager for a state house race here in the U.S. Uh, I don't know, a long time ago, I think in 2008 or 2010. And um, at that point, I, you know, I heard some stuff about the Fed and about, you know, libertarians and, you know, anarchists. And I kind of heard about that, but I didn't really know what it was about. And then as I got deeper and deeper into my local party in the state level, um, I started to see a lot of the hypocrisy of the two-party system and some of the the issues and the things that they were saying the other side was doing to play dirty. I realized once I got deeper into these like kind of more inner circle conversations that they were using the exact same tactics and it just felt so hypocritical and it really caused me to start to go down the path of realizing just what a sham our two-party system is um, here in the U.S. and just really start to research more and learn more. And I started to align more with the libertarians and realizing that that philosophy actually lined up with my personal values more. And Bitcoin and crypto just fits into my whole world philosophy so much in terms of self-sovereignty, personal freedom, personal responsibility. And so when I found crypto, it just was really the, it just makes a lot of sense. And it's it's a tool that I think we can use to help get closer to the type of world and the type of society that I would actually want to live in. Yeah, absolutely. So those principles and values is very often what resonates to most people out there. But I'd love to ask you, who are some of the crypto educators that you really like to follow in order to get access to quality content? Oh, yeah. So... You know, obviously there's like some of the big names that I have loved getting to learn from on YouTube, you know, like Andreas Antonopoulos and people like that. But in terms of like people that really inspired me to want to start making more content and do some more education, uh, Naomi Brockwell was actually someone that I, I really looked up to and was like, and still do, of course, you know, but just as someone that I'm like, wow, I love what she does. I love the energy she brings, the way she breaks things down. And so I wanted to bring some of that energy and that type of approach to my own content because I do think there's a lot of just really like heavily technical content in the space that can feel a little overwhelming to newcomers. And so I always try to bring that newcomer perspective into the work that I do, even if I'm not doing total 101 content, like even if I'm just interviewing someone from a project, I always try to keep that mindset of, you know, what questions would I would like, you know, me two, three years ago would have had, like, what would those be and bring those into the conversation so that it actually feels more approachable to people that are getting into the space. 